Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ruth. If you're new to my channel, and this morning, um, I'm sitting in my car right in front of the health department. Uh, actually, I'm going. I'm going to be going in soon to get some information. But before I let you guys know what information I'm going to get. I would like to ask you guys a question and this question goes particularly to um my african people um who work who are in the united states or in maybe probably this happens in other con other western countries but if that happens then you are part of this video um principally part of this video um for those of us who work in the health sector or have worked in the health sector, have you guys, oh, let me say it this way. I'm sure you guys were once asked um, prior to being hired or after being hired to um, do your um, immunization um, before you started your job or um to do different tests like your tb test or your measles and stuff all of those um immunizations um well i was asked to do that even before i started my clinicals for school so i did those and i tested positive to tb um which was it wasn't so shocking to me because i had heard about it that i probably would test positive to it so i wasn't so shocked about it because um when when i was little in africa i was giving um some vaccine or something i don't know much about it but i was giving something that is aiming that would cause this to happen so i wasn't so afraid that or maybe i really had tb or something like that but i just wanted to know and see if i'm alone or i'm not alone like especially having you guys as my friends on social media we get to know people that are going through this so i tested positive i was asked to do the chest x-ray and i did it and i was cleared i did something called the quantiferin gold um and i did test positive to that as well so um for my clinical purposes for school i did not really have to go and seek treatment but like I told you guys, I'm going to be starting a new job, um, actually on Monday. And um, my employers want me to look into treatment options because I'm going to be close to patients with um, tuberculosis. So just to be safe, they want me to look into treatment options, even though my TB test says that it's a latent tb it's not active but it still want me to look into options so yeah that's why i came um this morning i set up an appointment to speak with the nurse here at the um health department and see what my treatment options are and yeah i just wanted to um throw this out there so in case any of you guys will run into this in the future you should not be startled about it i heard it is normal and um yeah if anyone else has experienced this leave it down in the comment um if you if you don't mind you can leave in the comment um what your treatment options were and what you decided to do and this is actually not like compulsory for me like what they said they said and i 
can go and see what my treatment options are and decide on what I want to do. But it will be safe. That's how they put it. If I treat, if I seek treatment just to be safe, you know. So yeah, um, I'm going to go in now. Um, when I come back, I'll probably let you guys in on what it was like as much as I can. But I want to say thank you so much to my viewers and my subscribers. My viewers, man, you guys, I've gotten so much views and I'm so happy about it. So I am done with my visits at the health department. Um, I had three options, treatment options of three months, which I had to check in every week for my treatment of four months, which I had to come every month for some pills to take home and take during the month and um or nine month treatment as well we should come every month to get but i chose the four month because i can imagine myself taking pills for nine months i just can't so um i decided to take the pills for four months it's like two tablets every day you need to take it um at least around the same time of the day each day for the four months so i got um treatments um for f for a month a month worth of treatment and i'm going to take that and i already have my next appointment scheduled for next month to come and pick up my next um medication so yeah um this is it i'll see how it goes it so far on the bottle it does not say a lot of crazy adverse effects pretty much just nausea vomiting and then don't take alcohol a few other things but i should be able to take it i hope, I hope it's not bitter because i don't like bitter stuff that's going to be like mm -mm. But I'm still going to take it though. But I pray and hope that when I take it, it is not better. Alright you guys, let me not make this video too long. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.